after three walks surrendered in the bottom of the first inning. Florida takes an early 1-0 lead at home, the first of a three-game series to open SEC play. Yes, Kelly Barnhill back in the circle for Florida that made quick work of the Tennessee Volunteers in the top of the first inning. What's the key now to keep this ball rolling like we've seen so many times in the past for Barnhill? I mean, Barnhill always has to keep it pitch by pitch. These balls are great hitters. They're going to make adjustments, especially as an offense going to get up against Barnhill. You know you're going to get your strikeout, so you can't get down on that, but it only takes one pitch. Leadoff batter for Tennessee is Ashley Morgan, sophomore first baseman hitting 435 this season. Barnhill only needed 12 pitches in that top of the first frame. Now Tennessee needed almost three times the amount of pitches. Two and oh, the count though, don't see that too often with Barnhill. It just feels like it could be a bench warmer scenario where you basically just have Barnhill, a catcher, and one fielder because she's just so consistent. I mean, that's how it feels a lot, but then a lot of the times you see what we see now. You know, she shuts down those first three batters in the first inning, and then top of second, she's already lost the first batter 3-0. That's almost been Kelly's Achilles heel, is falling behind hitters, giving up those walks when you, when you can't, right? and then giving up a long ball. Much needed strike for Barnhill, and the easy case in point you can point to is the UCLA game in Oklahoma City last year, not to bring up any painful memories for Florida fans, but that was a game where she struck out the first eight batters, retired the first nine, and then fell apart. And that's just something that Kelly's constantly working on. It's, 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 it's always something that's been one of her weaknesses, is being able to stay in that game one through seven. And that's her just having to feel the confidence of when she sees that rise ball spinning so well, is feeling it every time. Ball popped up behind home plate. Jordan Roberts called off by the third baseman, Hannah Sipos. And after falling behind 3-0, still finds a way to get the leadoff batter out. And right there is that, what that confidence is. You fall down 3-0, you come back with getting that strike, and then get the batter to basically get herself out by swinging at that pitch. And again, I think if you surveyed any coach across America, they're going to take Kelly Barnhill because she's just been that good along with the Rachel Garcias of the world and even for Tennessee, who we haven't seen yet, Kaylin Arnold. I mean, there's, there's a lot of game left to play here. You just never know what can happen. And Mike Bosch, who's taken over a lot of the pitching coach duties in his first season after coming all the way down from Syracuse, working with Kelly extensively. And it's been cool to see how much Barnhill and how much the rest of the Gator staff has really uh, loved working with Bosch because he's very different than Coach Rocha. He's very analytical. He approaches everything with a numbers perspective. I think one of my favorite things Coach Walton said was that, you know, he approaches with video pitching and scouting report pitching and setting up a batter pitching and diving into the numbers of, okay, if this batter's taking 2-1, where do you need to throw this pitch? Where do you need to try to get that hitter to miss? And so it's almost been a different thought process for Kelly, and she meshes very well with that because she's very analytical as well. That's what's funny too. How do you coach a player like Kelly Barnhill when you just come down in your first season outside of the SEC? Well, I think that's a big reason why Coach Walton felt felt strong about being bringing in Mike Bosch is knowing that heck, you know, the way that he thinks is very similar to how my number one pitcher thinks, and I think that she's going to thrive underneath her, underneath him after losing, you know, one of the best pitching coaches in the country in Jen Rocha. 2-2 Two -two pitch, swung on and missed for strike three and give Kelly Barnhill her third strikeout already and has retired all five Tennessee batters. You see Barnhill was just barreling Bearden with all of her rise balls up, 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 but then gets her late with this screwball well off the plate. But because it's so fast, it's hard to keep up with it. You see Bearden's eyes are looking at that pitch in Jordan Roberts' glove. That's how hard that pitch is coming in. Now up to Allie Shipman to extend the inning. The freshman behind home plates. 
The sister of former SEC Player of the Year, Madison Shipman, trying to continue the legacy left in Knoxville. Shipman gets hit by the pitch and earns her walk to first base, but at least Tennessee has its first base runner of the night in the top of the second with two outs. Here comes Gracie Osborne making just her ninth start this season. This is her ninth straight start. And another freshman in the lineup for Tennessee, a program that was on the precipice of getting to Oklahoma City just one game away, but falling in Athens in game three last year in the Super Regionals. I mean, you're going to see a lot of freshmen for Tennessee. And it's a good mix of senior leadership and the youth. And, you know, this youth kind of came in with a high maturity level. So they bring almost this new energy to the team because they're a very highly recruited class. Almost the same thing that happened in the first inning just happened again. All the Florida fielders thought it was time to go back to the dugout and get ready to hit. Have to wait at least one more pitch. They're going to call that a foul ball. Is it, it looked like it went off the wrist of Osborne. That's so surprising to see, too, because like you mentioned, there are a couple of times you've seen Kelly Barnhill let one or two mistakes snowball. Yeah. Well, right there, that was just the second time she's hit a batter this entire season. How do you get back on track and get that final out that can be elusive at times? It's almost just kind of putting it to the putting it to the side, shelving it and thinking about what you got to do next. In this situation, it seems like Gracie Auburn commits to the pitch, which is why she gets hit in the forearm. But I mean, she's more than halfway through the zone there. Another strikeout for Barnhill to end the second and Kelly has the Gators rolling into the bottom of the seconds. 